love that noise. All right, folks, it's good to be back out. It's been a while. <laughs> we got a, a little puppy just over a month ago and uh, she has been consuming a lot of time. But uh, she's settling in nicely and uh, Nicola says, aye, off you go. So I'm out with Greg this weekend and the plan is to get a nice little winter summit camp in the Cairngorms. So we're just making our way up now. Righty-o. Just stopped to the, the first top there for something to eat. And I tell you what, the views are cracking. I don't know if you can see behind me there. We've got the plateau and the Cairngorms. Got the likes of Cairn Tool. Angel's Peak and Bray Reek behind me. In front of me here, I can see through to Ben Alder. Ben Nevis itself is in the cloud. And I've also got the Craig Meggie range as well. <clears throat> so the plan now is um, to push on because it's quarter to two. And our summit, which is uh, Milak Vor, I think it's about just over four kilometers away. So we need to push on. Righty old folks, this is where we're aiming for, this is our summit here. There's a little water source, we hope it's not frozen, just underneath that little rise there. I don't know if the camera can pick it out, but there's an aggro track. And then we'll just pick up the side of the hill and blast up to the summit. Alright, super boss, running water, because I cannot be bothered melting snow. Remember not to use this filter if it freezes over, take the knack of it. It's a race against the sunset. Sunset's at 20 to 4. The nights are fair drawn out. And we've got maybe half an hour up to the summit. Whew. This snow's bloody tiring. No easy. Nah. As soon as it goes right up, up to your knees, it just slows you right down. I've said it before, every mile in winter is two. So much good. And that's deep. Well, that's us reached the summit. Some rather nice views. You've got the Gake Pass down in here. The A9 runs behind these hills as well. But if I swivel around, the clouds setting in now. But if I zoom in. You can just see uh, Cairn Tool poking above the cloud. Right folks, now it's time to find a pitch. Just just before the summit, we did see a bit of flat ground. So we're going to investigate that. I hate the fucking sleeve in this tent. Oh, I'm getting hungry now, like. Yeah. I'm getting hungry now. Had a bit of a battle getting those tents up. Had to batter the pegs in with a rock. That's the good thing about the nine inch easterns is they will take a battering in. So hopefully they're well set. There's a frost already appearing on the tents as well and it's only just after four. It's going to be a cold one. It's a bit steamy windows. Don't worry, I'm not going for the soft focus. Do -do 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 -do. There you go. Hopefully you can see me better now. Yep. Right, tents are pitched. I've got one of these little flex tail gear pumps. Just a little bit easier than having to use a pump sack because they're a faff. So let's plug this in. 
They're noisy buggers. Superb boss. It's not as cold as it's not as cold as what I thought it was. No. It is around about zero degrees in the tent, but when I had that outside, it dropped down to minus one. So uh, I'll leave that outside for now, and we'll see how cold it gets tonight. Right. Well, I've took a gamble and I've gone with the quilt. I think I said before this is good down to minus six degrees, and I feel fine in it. Well, I'll be. I've still got my my jacket on. But the cold coming through my mat just isn't happening, so I'm either going to take my sleeping bag in cool conditions or invest in a new sleeping mat. Probably the latter when I've got a bit of money because I think this one's good down to about minus two or three. But nah, I can feel the cold just touching it there. Um, that's a pay because I've had it down to temperatures this cold before, but I had the sleeping bag. Anyways, it's a starry night outside, so I'm going to maybe brave the cold and get back out and have a look. Alright folks, we're back out. We're braving the cold. It's not majorly cold, it's creeping down to about minus two at the moment. And what's the time, Greg? Half six? Quarter to seven. Quarter to seven, aye. So yeah, I don't know if you'll be able to make it out. There's the, the scarp. And... Greg's got his hubba bubba. It's a really starry night. I'll try and get some footage, but I'll probably not manage to get it. I've, um got some stuff to give away. Valley and Peak kindly sent me some stuff for free when I put in an order. They gave me one of those Wild Cascade tables and some Lightwave tent pegs. And I've also got two bags of Y Food powder and a shaker to give away as well, courtesy of Y Food. So if you would like to enter, just uh, in your comments below, just leave a comment with the hashtag Wild Camping and I'll do a draw later on this week. Good morning campers! It is nearly 8 o'clock and the wind picked up about half 2, about half 4 it was a lull for a couple of hours, I got back to sleep and then the wind is back. It's not that strong, I measured it with this, it came up about 20 miles per hour, so not bad, but enough to annoy you. Some YouTubers would probably say that was 50 miles per hour. But anyways, I'm going to do a slow pack up, see if Greg's awake, and I'll bring you back in a minute. At this point, the weather was getting progressively worse. The winds were starting to reach and breach 30 miles per hour, so Greg and I made the decision to skip breakfast, get packed up as quickly as possible, and get off the mountain. After 9 o'clock, that's us build off the summit, and as you can see from the footage, it's rather grayscale in this cloud. But anyway, I'm going to wrap this up like a mackerel wrap. I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers!